Hello everyone, welcome to a, uh, uh, this is a different little style tutorial, but anyway, I'm not going to try to make it too long, but, uh, anyway, yeah, so get ready. <laughs> um, anyway, so for those of you who are wondering, really quick, I am using the Samsung Galaxy, uh, Note 8.0, and I am using the, uh, the S Pen, which comes with the, uh, the tablet. So, um, you can't get these, I, at least I don't think you can, I, I think these only work with the, uh, the um, note tablets all right <laughs> anyway so um you guys see sometimes when i upload a video of like kind of like the you know from kind of like start to finish of the drawings like the they're like merging together like all the different layers and stuff um so i was going to do that with this one but i was like you know what heck it, uh why don't i just uh i just kind of explain it just a little bit so maybe um this will help for some of you who are actually doing layering or trying to mix colors and all that stuff okay so here we go so um, apparently I forgot to take a screenshot of this before, um, I added the shadow layer in, but anyway, so I started off with just a sketch, uh, with, uh, just regular, uh, the pencil. So I went ahead and I just sketched her out. Then, um, <laughs> which was on the, the second time I took a screenshot, then as you can see, I started to add, um, the shadowing all in right here. So you can see that from the, the gray and the white. Um, so that's what that is. So all these are pictures. I'm not in Sketchbook Pro right now. I just took screenshots. Okay, so let's go on to the next one. So now, as you can see, I started to add in the hair. Uh, and here's the thing, too. You can see I added the uh, the shadow layer is all on her hair right here. So that's why on the second one, you're getting, I don't know how well you can see it, but you're getting some darker, um, darker orange right in here. And then there's lighter orange over here. I don't know how well that's translating onto the camera, but anyway, it's there. <laughs> okay, so the next one. So here's one thing that I do, and this, uh, I think I talked about this in a video before, but it's just been such a while, so I figured I'd go back over it for a second. Um, <clears throat> so here's one thing you can do. This is on, um, make sure that you, when you're coloring too, you're doing this on different layers, but as you can see, I have the skin color going all the way around all of the areas that are supposed to be uh, covered in skin. So um, I trace all of that out first, and this is just, it saves a lot of time. Then you uh, just take the bucket and just fill it in, which is what I did here. So as you can see, and um, that first, well not the first, but the, that second layer of shadowing, you can see how that um, helps. It, it saves a lot of time to see we already have, um, you know, our different um, color color tones right here. So we have our, you know, our light skin um, color and then our darker skin color. So it saves a lot of time, stuff you don't have to go back and do later, um, so yeah. So as you can see, we're just adding more and more on um, I went ahead and uh, put a little bit of color in her eyes, and uh, and then yeah, I went ahead and start working on the mouth and the teeth a little bit and all that stuff, yada yada. And uh, yeah, okay, so let's go on. Same thing. I did the same thing for her uh, her coat um, by adding in the the color. It looks blue on the camera. It's actually purple, but um, anyway, I uh, you know did the same thing by you know tracing it over and. Um, going all the way around it and then dumping it. By the way, that was all. All of that is done. Make sure you do that on a, a, a separate layer, and then and, you know as you keep going, then you can start to you know merge all of them together. So that's just something to keep in mind. Okay. Now I went ahead and I put a background in, and the reason why I put the background in is because uh, once you start doing more color, um, I found it's, it's it's more easy to it's more uh, or should I say more it's more soft on the eyes instead of just the um, kind of harsh um, white that's just kind of like you know kind of blinding you a little bit so it's kind of able you're more able to see your colors and uh, try to blend them all together if you don't have such a, a strain on your eyes so that's a very important thing to do also um, listen to some cool music or whatever can put you in a relaxing mood when you're uh, when you're drawing if you like listening to music so you may hate music but I hope not <laughs> Okay, so here we go. So here, um, I've talked about this a lot in my other videos before, um, but as you can see, compare it, I'll show you the difference. Watch over here on the side, we're going to put the highlights. So I don't know how well you're able to see that, but there's a, there's a new uh, layer, or yeah, a new layer, and um, it's still st uh, skin color, but it's more higher in, um, in the brightness, so you actually want to try to search more towards white, kind of, um, kind of a creamy kind of like really, 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 really light coffee, um, <laughs> extremely, um, maybe milk is a better example, but anyway, kind of a milky color, and I just kind of ran that, um, all the way down, uh, along her nose and stuff, because 
the uh, the light source is hitting. It's coming from. Uh, oops. There we go. <laughs> you can see the screen. It's coming from this direction. Okay. So let's try to get through this. And uh, yeah. So the next thing we added here is the uh, start adding a little bit of blush to her face, a little bit around her neck. Uh, blah blah blah. So that's pretty much what's done on that picture. Now, as you can see, there's this, uh, a new layer, a new shadow layer. So if you look um, previously, uh, look right here along her hairline, right here, and then when we flip, then as you can see, that hairline's there. And the reason why that's important is because that's what actually sells it to make it look like a... Uh, sorry about the loud cars going by. <laughs> anyway, but that's actually what sells it to make it look like the hair is actually setting on her head. So that's something you're, you're going to want to keep in mind. Um, I mean, it, yes, it does look like it's on her hair here, but I would say this is a much better effect because, you know, you're seeing the shadow from the hair being separated from, like, where the skin is. And um, also, too, it just helps with more realistic, like, for lighting and all that junk. So um, just something you might want to take a note of or write down or something. Okay, so on this, which uh, I think I may have double screen captured this one. I think it may have just enhanced just a little bit of darkening her hair a little bit. Okay, and I think I have a couple of these that are actually the same. Some of them I just added, well, okay, well, for instance, I don't know how well you can see it, but, okay, I added some small little, you can't see it right here, but just pay attention to my go to the next one. Just get a good look at this, and then when I go to the next one, then I don't know if you can see that, but there's tiny little dots that just kind of add more to the skin um, texture. Um, so, yeah, so there's that. Also... Um, which one was it? Okay, maybe not. I think I skipped that one. Okay, anyway, we'll just keep going. <laughs> and here we go. Again, kind of just enhancing more things, a little bit more darker um, shadowing around the uh, the hairline of, you know, just kind of enhancing, enhancing her clothes a little bit. Also, too, there's a little more enhancement here on her uh, shoulder versus uh, some of the, well yeah, like this one. So we didn't, I didn't even touch on that, but um, as you can see, we added the, the highlights here on her shoulder, her clothes, and let's keep going. Okay, so now we have a background. <clears throat> now, the reason why that you could, you know, if you're trying to just, if, if, if you're still working on this, then uh, you're fine with just the gray background, but this uh, reddish, orangish kind of color, uh, it's, it's, it's more red, but on the camera it's showing up like it's orange, straight up orange, but <laughs> anyway, whatever. Um, this is actually a color that's part of the final piece, so that's why I went ahead and put that in, because it's new, it's what I, what I wanted. Um, so then I went ahead and I add this little stripe in the background, or whatever, blah blah blah. Um, one thing to pay attention to is, uh, well, never mind, we'll just go ahead. Okay, so, um, so yeah, so anyway, added the background in. Then, this is where things get a little bit different. I put this, then I put it into, uh, um, Pixlr, Pixlr Express, I think, yeah. Yeah, Pixlr Express. Uh, put it in there, and then I put, uh, I start doing a little bit of, like, photo stuff to it. So, um, brightened the saturation, um, added a few filters onto it, I kind of put, like, a small, tiny little lens, kind of lens flourish looking deal going on over there in the corner. Um, so that, that's another app that you might want to use, um, is Pixlr Express. You can look it on, on the uh, Google Play Store, and I, I would imagine they have it for um, iOS devices as well. So I just, I don't use any iOS devices, so I don't keep track of what apps they have, but I'm, I'm, I'm fairly sure that it's, it's, it's there. So anyway, just have a, have a peek. <laughs> okay, so then we're getting close to it being finished. Uh, then I had, oh, by the way, these stars were, uh, were done in Sketchbook Pro, so if you go through the tools and you keep flipping and flipping and flipping, you'll actually find out that you're like, that there are some, um, you know, some, uh, different shapes and stuff that you can use and you can scale them to different sizes. That's how I got them to, uh, you know, like the size here, the size there and yada, yada, yada. So you can just kind of keep, you know, play around and see what else you can add to your photo to make it more interesting or, you know, just whatever. <laughs> um, okay. So this is probably another double screenshot and yeah, probably the same thing here too. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, well, aside from I put my name there. And then I think I put it into... Yeah, there we go. So that's the final one. So I put it into um, Pixel Express one more time, and then that's where I got this font from. That's where I get. I, I use a lot of my fonts for stuff that I do. I, uh, I use that. 
So anyway, I hope this was helpful to you guys, and you know, you can go back through this, pause it, and do whatever you need in order to, uh, you know, just kind of follow it, or just to write down some of the, the techniques or whatever, you know, just, just feel free. Um, just, you know, practice it, and uh, don't forget, you can always send me your, um, your drawings, you can send it to uh, howtodrawlikejohn at gmail.com, and uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this, you guys, and I, woo. We're at 10 minutes. <laughs> anyway, um, if you like what you see, go ahead and share this video and uh, comment and like. Um, all of that just to show you guys support. It just kind of lets me know that you guys are, you know, kind of appreciate what I'm doing. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys have a good weekend. And, uh, yeah, I will see you probably on, uh, well, not probably. Uh, oh, for sure, I will see you on Monday. I was thinking about uh, um, Sunday, but I'm... Um, more than likely early Sunday morning, like 12 a.m. or something, I'm going to post some more um, comic book art or something, I think. If, if, if well, we'll see. We'll see. I'll, I'll, I'm going to post something. <laughs> anyway, but uh, again, thank you guys so much. This week we did break 1,000 subscribers, and we're like, that's, that's really awesome. So I'm excited about that. Thank you guys so much. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys, I already said it, but no, no harm in saying it twice, but I hope you guys have a good weekend and be safe. And yeah, see you Monday. Bye.